Hi there, in again. Um, today we're going to be looking at saddles and we've um, got some saddles here that might be the answer to some of your problems if you're having any. If you've, the, the, the title I'll put in this search, if, you've, if you're watching this video, um, I'll assume you've been having some problems and these might give you some op options in what you do. First up, I suffered myself from saddle issues and um, it came on all of a sudden. I wouldn't have thought they would happen, but they did. Uh, and it got to a point where I couldn't even ride a bike at all. So the first thing that I managed to track down was this funny looking thing. This is a spongy wonder made in Canada, it says on the bottom, Fabrique en Canada. Um, and it's, it's pretty heavy, it didn't quite fit the seat clamp either, so it wasn't uh, great. It's quite homemade, but it did work um, and it did solve my problems. Um, it's completely noseless. Although, if you're not careful how you uh, how you pitch this, uh, that that can be unhelpful to have on a bike. So this got me out of a, out of a hole and kept me kept me riding. Um, these are just they send you a spare pair of these uh, these are where your sit bones go. So there's no no pressure at all when you're completely floating in this area here where there's nothing. So from that, this was a uh, it got me got me through, um, but I was always on the lookout for a better solution than this. Um, and the next next thing that I tried was the Rido R2. Now the Rido R2, they called it enhanced PSG. Uh, I think that stands for prostate prostate safe possibly. Now now this saddle, as you can see. It has a nose which is a lot better when you're trying to control the bike because once you lose the nose of the saddle um, the bike becomes a lot more difficult to control um, and I used that spongy wonder in the in the Alps on a, a, a touring holiday and going downhill down um, the Col de Galibier isn't much fun without a nose on your saddle um, so this is uh, this they certainly these are made in the UK or certainly designed in the UK and um, they're still widely available ridosport.com and this is uh, quite I mean it's, it's heavy I've got another version of this with chromo rails which uh, sheds a few grams but it's, 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 it's certainly very solid it doesn't really look pretty but it's a great uh, super comfortable saddle to sit on and um, I favour it with a slight a tilt down so it's essentially noseless where it matters but we do have a nose either side of uh, between the legs so we can control it going downhill this is the saddle I've used ever since really um, it's just absolutely super comfortable these these pads are really good the one thing you have to do is get used to using your sit bones so it will hurt to start with but it will hurt only on the bones it won't cause you any issues with anything else it's just your, your bones and your skin and as soon as it gets used to it then you won't notice it at all. It's the most comfortable thing you'll ride. Now, this has got a built-in suspension. You probably won't be able to see it, but if it was on, on a frame, on a seat post, it does flex. So it, whatever bike you're riding, it makes it more comfortable um, and more compliant. So because this is quite heavy, Rider came out with a follow-up saddle. So I obviously wanted to try this out and I have I have used it um, and it, it, it isn't as comfortable but then I've got probably on more have more issues than most people do um, it has a they've kept the shape it's, it, it's the same uh, PSG enhanced um, structure of the saddle so but it there's hardly any padding at all leather leather cover cover um, chromo and titanium alloy seat rails so on the scales this is not too bad at all and it looks it looks pretty decent and it looks like a normal saddle um, I may uh, I keep trying it and I, I, I one day I may get on with it but at the moment I don't want to cause myself any any issues while I'm on my comeback so um, I'm sticking with a heavy old faithful Rido R2 but the Rido Light, really good saddle. Um, and if you are having problems, this could be a perfect answer because you can put it on any race bike, any light bike, and it's not gonna it's not gonna bother the scales too much compared to 
um, some of these other alternatives. So that's it for the saddle review. Um, anything now is to find out how much they all weigh. So let's get them on scales. So first up, it's a bungee wonder. 474 grams, that's pretty weighty, but if needs must. Next up, the Rido R2, 440 grams, so that's still pretty heavy. Finally, Rido Light, 225 grams, so pretty light.